Shalom, brothers and sisters in Christ. Winning is something that we have grown to realize is something good. And a lot of times we want to win. We want to win at a competition. We want to win at whatever it is that we compete in. And winning also shows that um, we've put in certain amount of effort and it has paid off. So it is like the fruits of the time, the energy, the intelligence that we have put into the competition. And a lot of times we see or we forget that where winning is not for everyone, that there is only one place that allows the, there's only one top position there. And that everyone else will go into ranks below that. And it is, there is always some difference between the top position and the next, the person below that. And that can sometimes be discouraging, can be painful because everyone would have put in so much effort to try and get the best. But the world tells us that, oh, maybe it wasn't good enough. Maybe you weren't quick enough. Maybe you didn't do it right this time. So you are not in the first position. You go down to the second, third, or even lower. But in the readings today, we are reminded, St. Paul reminds us that this journey of faith is not a competition, that we are to wait for one another, that this gift of faith, this gift of the sacraments, this gift of the church is for everybody. And that we do not need to compete as we compete in the world. Because Christ has already set a place for us. There is more than enough place for each one of us. And in the gospel today, we see the centurion repeat something that we so often repeat at every mass we go to. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my servant shall be healed. We say and my soul shall be healed. And we know that the centurion is someone who is with power and authority in the community. Yet he goes out to look for Jesus so that his servant could be healed. And from this we see that he is humble in recognizing that although he is someone with authority and power, he cannot do it all because really he really needs Christ. We all really need Christ. So he humbles himself to go and look for Jesus. And with this humility also comes obedience. Because that thought, that idea to go and look for Jesus would have come from God himself. That stirring would have come from God. And the centurion was obedient in responding to it. As a centurion, I would assume that he had other more pressing matters to see to. And not just the health of his servant. Yet he put aside everything else to go and meet Jesus, to ask, to seek the healing of his servant. And from the obedience, we see that he also loves his servant because it is only out of love that we can go the extra mile, that we can go and do things for the person beside us, for our neighbor, for our family members. And this love is also something that is so pure, so genuine, so life-giving, that it is not something that the centurion could have mustered up himself. It is something that he would have received from Jesus as well. The love he has for his neighbor. And when we read the gospel today, it just reminds us again that this journey of faith, this journey towards heaven is not a competition because even the centurion was able to wait for his servant, to go and wait on his servant who was ill so that he could be restored to life and continue the mission that the Lord has for him here. My brothers and sisters are in our journey on this earth. Maybe we have competed in many competitions. 
voluntarily or involuntarily. It is, and maybe a lot of times we would have been rejected. We would have been denied opportunities. We had, we would have been denied winnings. And that denial, that rejection, can sometimes be very painful. It can muster up a lot of resentment, a lot of hate, because we feel that someone blocked us or didn't give us an opportunity at competing or winning. And so today we pray. We pray that we can also utter the words of the centurion, these words of faith, these words of healing over the areas of our lives that were rejected, that were denied, that were told that we were not good enough in the competition. We, and may we always remember that no matter what the world tells us, we already have won a place, that the Lord has already set a place for us in His banquet and that He, is just continu he just continues to ask us to do as the centurion did, to be humble, to be obedient and to have this love and faith for all that the Lord calls us to. My brothers and sisters, I pray that we will continue on this journey of victory that we will run this race, knowing this race on earth, knowing that Christ has already redeemed our life, that we have already, that He has already won our souls, and that we can continue from this victorious place on this victorious journey. My brothers and sisters, I pray that you have a blessed day and blessed week ahead. God bless.